and welcome back to Fire Emblem Fates. Today, on Fire Emblem Fates Conquest, it's time for Chapter 9. But first, uh, I should probably uh, show off. Uh, I, uh, I did quite a bit of, uh, <laughs> of uh, training. Yeah, that's right. I went all out with the training. I went uh, quite quite a bit ways with the training, so much so that Elise is now on level 20. Yeah, that's right, I went that far. And, uh, well, now I'm going to turn her into her promoted class. She did so much healing, she went, she got to level 20, and now I'm going to turn her into a strategist. Nice. So yeah, that's uh, it's pretty much. Yep, that's it for uh, promotions for now. And I did do a lot of money grinding, so I have a lot of money oh. now. That's right, yeah, I, I DLC grinded. I already had it, so I figured, why the hell not? Fuck it. Just fuck it. Just screw it, man, screw it. But anyways, uh, chapter 9, another trial. Viola ends the Ice Tribe's rebellion. Upon returning home, new orders are issued. Conquer no trace of geese. But first, the team must pass through Fort Dragonfall. Yep, all right. <laughs> hmm, so clever little Viola has returned. And she has carried out my order in an alarmingly competent fashion, no less. <laughs> well done, child. <laughs> oh, father, you're so evil. Well, I'll just have to give my dear daughter a truly agonizing mission now, won't I? You may enter. Ah, oh, King Garen, Viola has returned. It seems she managed to quell the rebellion without sacrificing a single life. She has requested an audience with you, my liege. What shall I tell her? Tell her I have received the message and will be there momentarily. Ah, consider it done, your majesty. Yes. I have returned, father. And gloriously so, I might add. Yago told me of your impressive feat. Stopping a rebellion without taking a single life is no small accomplishment. You've done well, Viola. I am proud of you. Ah, look at him pretending to actually care. As promised, I now welcome you back into the royal family. Well done, my daughter. Thank you, Thank you Father. I can't tell you how much this means to me. Okay. I told you all would be well in the end. Good job, Viola. Okay, now nah, I can't remember. Is Iago gonna fuck everything up here? Yes. Thanks, Xander. There we go, yeah, there we go. That's it, typical Iago. Ahem, uh, there is one small problem, King Garen. My sources tell me Viola did not carry out her mission alone. Iago, that was unnecessarily cruel even for you. What? Is this true, Viola? Did you or did you not face the Ice Tribe alone? It is true, I did not face them alone. I said I'm, I said I'm, I set out on my own, as ordered, but along the way I ran into trouble. Jacob, Celeste, and Elise came to help me. I couldn't have done it without them. I'm sorry for defying you in that regard, Father. I beg your forgiveness. Why am I apologizing? They came to me for help. They they came to help me. I didn't have any say in that. Well, I could have told them to go away, but... Nah, I couldn't do that. Well, whatever. So you defied my holy orders and involved not only re retainers, but also your sister? 
This behavior simply cannot be tolerated, right, King Garen? Ah, she, she betrayed the wishes of the Divine Dragon, Anankos. Such sacrilege demands a swift and severe punishment. Ah, if you ask me, we should put an end to Viola once and for all. Stop! Stop, Iago, that's never gonna happen, I won't let it. Viola never asked us to follow her, we did that on our own, it's not our fault. So, if the punishment is death, you'll have to kill me too. At least don't say that, dear sister, I'm not worth dying for. Quiet both of you, father. If you must punish someone, punish me. It was I who told the others to tag along and help Viola with her mission. If death is the price for this indiscretion, it is I, and I alone, who will pay it. Um, Father, kill me or kill no one. That is all there is to it. Enough. I have no intention of harming any of my beloved children. Beloved. Beloved. Though it was not exactly as I requested, she did accomplish her mission. By the grace of Anna and Kos, I shall let this pass. She is, after all, still my daughter. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Not really. You're, you're a fucking liar. But still, I'll take it. I'll take it. Ah, oh, King Garen, you can't mean that. Ah. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Father. After you, S Sander... Eh, after you, and you, and you, Xander, thank you for looking after me, even at the risk of your own life. Think no nothing of it, little princess, such is the duty of an older brother. I must admit, my child, I never thought you would pull off such a grand feat. Given your ability for combat, I shall waste no time in assigning you a new mission. A new mission? So soon? Skills like yours must be put to good use. I'd like you to head for No Trace of Geese. I need you to capture that territory and bring it under Norian rule. Well no trace of geese, eh? As you wish, father. I have heard that the place is even now teeming with Hoshinin soldiers. The Hoshinins are taking steps to topple Nor, and all we hold dear. Such bad seeds must not be allowed to take root. Head there immediately and eradicate any Hoshinin soldiers you find along the way. Y you want me to fight against the Hoshinin army? That's not a problem, is it? Or after all that, are you reluctant to raise a sword against the kingdom of your birth? No, no, no problem at all. I am a Norian, through and through. I will carry out your mission without fail, father. Do not fail me. Good. Do not let me down, my daughter. I'm counting on you. I won't fail you, father. <laughs> well, I'm off on another daring mission. Haha, <laughs> so for now, this is goodbye. Take care of you all. Even, we, even when we are apart, we, we are still... No, we are still with you in spirit. Oh, it just doesn't seem fair, going on a mission like that with such a small army. I'd go with you, but Father tasked us with a mission of our own. I really wish there was something we could do to help. Be all right. Don't worry, Camilla, we'll be fine on our own, right, Elise? You know it. Yeah, that's right, we'll be just dandy. With me and my retainers and my super awesome magic stat, we'll be home in no time flat. Elise is going too? Now I'm really worried. It was nice knowing you, Viola. Huh. Hey, that's not funny, Leo. Why would you say such a terrible thing? <laughs> Ha, <laughs> you know he's just trying to get a rise out of you, Elise. You know I'm counting on you. Well, thanks. thanks, Viola. That's why you're my favorite, because you aren't mean and stupid like Leo. Uh... Even after spending time on the battlefield, you're somehow you're somehow still the same spoiled brat. It's actually quite impressive. See, Elise, I'm not mean at all. I just said you impress me. Huh? Xander, make Leo stop teasing me. Ugh. <laughs> Viola, listen well. The mysterious Rainbow Sage resides in No Trace of Geese. He grants divine power to those he deems worthy. Seek him if you have the courage. <gasps> How is that so? I never knew such a being existed, much less in No Trace of Geese. But wait, if you know about him, does that mean you have divine power? It is true. Father and I have each visited the sage and we were gifted with his power. What? That's incredible. <laughs> it was a great honor. However, be aware that you will have to face severe trials first. If you do decide to seek out the sage's challenge, you must make sure you're prepared. Understood. I see. Thank you for the advice, Sander. I must become as strong as possible so that I can end this war once and for all. I have no choice but to seek out the sage and face whatever trials he has in store. As expected, I look forward to seeing your new power when you return safely. Thank you, Xander. Well, I suppose I had better get going. Goodbye, everyone. Best of luck, Viola. Oh, my little Viola. Please be careful. Well, Fort Dragonfall. Let's do it.
Well... That fort up ahead is enormous. Celeste, are we supposed to pass through there? Yes. Through that? We are. The road that leads to the port is on the other side. <sighs> Amazing. Kinda looks like a gigantic sleeping dragon. Hee <laughs> hee, you're so keen, Viola. That place is called Fort Dragonfall. It's some big old dragon that died a long time ago. Fort Dragonfall. Tell me more, Elise. Sure, well, rumor has it that this dragon was incredibly powerful. They say when it died, its body eventually became this very fort. So this was a dragon form... This was a dragon from a long time ago. How very awe-inspiring. It is, isn't it? But the fort is now occupied by the Hoshinan army. We'll have to fight them off if we want to get through. Right. Fate is cruel, isn't it? Well, I suppose we have no choice. We must get to Notre Seguis so I can complete my mission and find the sage. I'll have to face the Hoshin army eventually. It's now or never. I'm ready. I, I can do this. Understood. Understood. In that case, let's prepare for battle before they spot us. Alright, Fort Dragonfall. It's not going to turn into a... It's not going to come to life and have all all that stomach acid like it didn't birth, right? But it's like a, still a, pretty much like a maze, kind of. Well, not really. It's just got a lot of obstacles in the way. Uh, we got spear fighters, archers. Uh, what do we got here? Ah, the boss. Haitaka. Ocean in general in charge of the occupied fort Dragonfall. Yep. And we got Dragon Veins. Call Acid Rain to drop all units HP to 1. Oh, but it's so far away. But look who it is right there. Azura. Yay. And she's still level 20 because I grinded her in Chapter 5. I did the trick. Yes. And we got another character we can recruit. She's a Norian mage. Her name is Nyx. So, yeah. I'm gonna go recruit her. She's a Norian dark mage. So I can go recruit her. And we got chests, so yeah. Niles is uh Niles is gonna probably have to open one of them up, and Azura with her with her chest key is gonna probably gonna go get that other one, and then I'm probably gonna yeah, I gotta go have Azura activate this dragon vein. Yeah. But in any case, uh let's begin. Wait a minute. Ah, okay, uh that's right. I can't bring every I can't bring everyone. That's right. Uh, let's see. Who am I? Who am I leaving out? Hold on. I think I'm gonna leave out Mozu because I brought her along last chapter in exchange for Effie. So let me bring along Effie this time around. Yeah. Okay. All right. How very annoying. What a nuisance! I might have known the Hoshinan army would be here. There's a young girl in there. We've got to take her into custody. Blah blah blah. Children barely out of the womb out to capture a grown woman. Pathetic, it makes me sick. Yeah, Nyx is a lot older than she seems. This is why I usually choose to remain hidden from the ignorant masses. <sighs> and here we have Azura. Once again, here I am, dragged to some horrible place with no explanation. <laughs> is it my destiny to forever be tossed aside a stranger to all lands? Maybe the Norians will accept me, or perhaps this is where I die. Well, it's out of my control. If only I were a Hoshinan by birth. I know. I knew if and when the war began, I would be among the first casualties. At least in the end. Hmm? Huh? Is that a dragon vein I sense? Ah, I do recall hearing that this fort was built from the remains of a dark dragon. Perhaps it can be used to attack those within the fort. Yep, and that's exactly what you're going to go do. Okay, but first things first, let me go move my character so I can go recruit Nyx. As for Azura, unfortunately she doesn't have any weapons, but, uh, oh well, what are you going to do? Hmm. Let's see... How did I do this last time? It's been a while. Uh, I think... I think it'll be fine if I just move her. I think. 
I don't remember. I really don't remember, actually. Uh, let's see. Well, uh, sacrifices have to be made, so let me just try this and see how it goes. Maybe they won't attack her. Nah, they probably might. Well, we'll see. If not, I can just go back to my save. It's fine. Now, as for these guys over here, spear fighters. Okay, um, Arthur, get on that shit, man. You need to get on that shit. Let's see, do I want the raider axe for these guys? Uh, probably. Yeah, I got a raider axe off screen. It's, it's gonna be sweet. And let's see. Probably should. Here we go. Maybe I'll bring Effie over here. Ah, well, that's fine. Look who forgot to turn on the animations. I never remember. Never, ever will I remember to turn on these fucking animations. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Definitely fucked up there. Um... Maybe they'll ignore her? I don't know. Okay, let me just end the turn. Let's see. Woo! Hot. But now let's see. Jesus, but... Uh... Huh. Okay, but how is she supposed to... Okay, so that plan didn't work, so let me just go back. Yep. Yeah, maybe I overdid it with the training, but I really don't care. Yes! Yep. Careful out there. Wow. Are you fucking serious? He got a crit. Did I even get a crit when I was playing... Did the enemy ever get a crit while I was playing Birthright? I don't even remember. Well, in any case... So, Elise, yeah... <laughs> Yeah, Elise's magic stat is crazy. Like, as she levels up, it, like, just keeps boosting. It's crazy. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, man. Well, in any case, let's move along. Here you go, Arthur. Or should I use amend? No, I, amend is not necessary. Well, whatever. I guess these. Okay, that was a good sneeze. Now let's see. 
Ah, yeah, Nick. Nix. Yeah, Nix. Well, hey, miss, what are you doing out here? You're definitely not an ocean and soldier. It's dangerous out here, young lady. Come over to our side and we'll protect you. Your family must be worried sick. Yes. I am no young lady, and I neither require nor desire your paltry protection. Jeez. Chill. Huh? R really? Are you sure? Listen, child. Are you as deaf as you are, dumb girl? Be gone before I curse you into oblivion. What? Girl, you're one to talk. You look about the same age as my little sister. I'm not looking for trouble, but... Appearances can be deceiving, child. I'm afraid my situation is beyond your ability to comprehend. All I want is to live in solitude and to avoid the harsh gaze of the world around me. Is that really too much to ask? Live in solitude? Does that mean you're all alone? You don't have- don't you have a family? My family left a very long time ago. They were frightened of me and my abilities. They thought I was strange. Maybe I am. Who needs a family anyway? I I'm not sure who told you- I'm not sure why I told you all that. Your eyes are very trustworthy and calming. So yes, intrusive stranger, I am all alone, and shall remain so for all my days. No. Now I can't accept that. Why don't you join my team? We'll be your family from now on. What? What are you saying? You know nothing about me or my dark past. That's true, but the past doesn't matter, only the present and the future. Besides, you can't evade the ocean army all by yourself. You need us. Trust me, I know what it's like to feel lost and alone. Th that's no way to live. If my friends and family hadn't come to my aid, I wouldn't be alive right now. Everyone needs someone to lean on, stranger. Please join us. I really shouldn't leave such a helpless little lady alone anyway, haha. Oh, for crying out loud. I already told you, I'm much older than I appear, insolent fool. Or perhaps that was, what was it called? A humorous joke of some sort? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. I suppose it would be advantageous to join you, for now. It's been a long while since I had any sort of companionship. It might be nice. Well, fine. Since you insist, I shall join your ranks. Use my power as you see fit. Alright, we got the Dark Norian Mage Nyx. Oh, since we're in on the si since we're on the same side now, I should let you in on a little secret. See that wall over there? It has a weak spot. It should break if you attack it. That knowledge should help us prevail over the ocean and army. Yep. There are breakable objects. Mm-hmm. There's one, uh there's there's one over here too. It might be, yeah, I should probably, like, send, like, two people over this direct, over in this direction. Yeah, I should probably do that. Uh, screw it, Niles and Effie, you go do that. Uh, the rest of you, uh, charge. Storm the front. But yeah, we got Nyx. She's got the basic fire spell and Fimble Venter, which is, uh, which is a C-rank spell. It's it's very powerful. It's good. It's a good spell. And I just broke that thing. Now let's see. Uh, it's not safe for Zura to go out there just yet, but I'll put her right here. Oh, that's right. That's right. I I have to wait. I have to wait until like that guy. That guy starts moving. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Samurai. Okay. Nice, nice. Brass Naginata. Sweet. So now she can defend herself. And now she can take advantage of that 18 strength. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, now. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's give Odin a shot here. Yeah.
I'm just gonna blast through all of this. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, you two will go this way. Zura, you're gonna go activate that dragon vein, because you've got that dragon blood. Yep. I'm gonna not, I'm gonna try for now not to use Elise too much because that would just be too easy. I'm gonna try and use Elise just for healing for now, but we'll see. Ah ha ha ah ha 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 ha! But not right now, not right now. Uh, activating the Dragon Vein is uh, more important. Alright, now let's see. If we if I have her pair up with me, uh, it'll boost my magic, and I can lay the smack down even more on these guys. Hmm, or do I want to wait until Azura activates the Dragon Mane? Or oh, oh oh yeah, we've also got this over here. Okay, uh yeah. Let me make sure everyone's a bit closer to each other. As a matter of fact, let me just uh, do this. Yeah. Now, uh... We'll end the turn. Dragon Vein, activate! Ha ha! Get fucking wrecked, scrubs. You know what? Uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, have her pair up. And, uh, eh, screw it. Well, uh, why don't we do this? Oh, uh, maybe not. Yeah, uh... Oh my god, of course. Who hasn't moved yet? Oh, right. Excellent. Uh, but we're approaching 30 minutes, so i uh, got to wrap this up. Yeah, this is going to be a two-parter, so yeah. Bye.